last uh, in the last few days, uh, we've uh, we've deployed into the Northern Arabian Sea, uh, conducting a, a focused operation in support of uh, CTF-150. Uh, we've had successful apprehensions uh, on both the uh, 5th of May and the 7th of May. Uh, the first with 135 kilos of uh, heroin, and the second with uh, just over two and a half tons of uh, hashish. Uh, we've now uh, seized uh, those narcotics and we're preparing for the disposal in the background behind me. So in the six months we've been deployed to uh, Operation Manitou so far, uh, this is our now ninth successful seizure. Uh, in total we've had uh, just over 9.9 .9 tonnes of hashish seized, uh, just over 1.4 tonnes of uh, heroin seized, a small amount of methamphetamines and a, and a total street value of about $920 million Australian. Yeah, certainly um, boardings are absolutely a whole ship activity. So whilst quite often the, uh, the footage or images that you see are, uh, are only a small um, snapshot of the boarding evolution, um, they are a whole ship activity. The boarding commences with the, uh, with the location of targets of interest, uh, which flexes the, uh, the operations team, uh, the air crew, the bridge team in locating and closing on a vessel. Uh, then we commence the boarding operation. Uh, which is uh, a boarding party drawn from all parts of the ship uh, and supported by all parts of the ship in launching and recovering boats and sustaining the boarding. Uh, in the background, uh, business as usual, we need to sustain the ship, the ship's company and the boarding party for often prolonged evolutions. Uh, and then finally, as we get into the disposal stage, uh, certainly in disposing with large quantities as we are in the background, it's absolutely a whole ship activity. In the last 24 hours, uh, HMAS Barat interdicted a vessel travelling southbound as such we got on board and uh, seized 135 kilos of heroin. So as the team got on board, we conducted our initial security sweep, secured the engineering space and went through uh, the master's paperwork. We found out the uh, vessel was stateless and had no right uh, to fly a flag. Uh, from there we conducted our non-destructive searches and conducted a quick search of the vessel uh, and found some uh, packages concealed in the, in the deckhead and from there conducted a search and uh, found the heroin. So once they're seized, we uh, bring them back on board. Uh, at our first available opportunity, we'll dispose of them. So the crew of Ballarat performed extremely well uh, during the boarding. The boarding was conducted safely and professionally and allowed us to achieve the mission. So over the uh, next few days and weeks, really looking forward to uh, getting on some more boats, doing some more boardings. Uh, great exposure for myself uh, and the team and uh, completing our job to a very high standard. So in the region at the moment, we currently have uh, the French, Canadian, and uh, Pakistani and United States ships. We're working with those and varying patrol areas to achieve the same uh, common goal. So I'm very, very confident in the team's ability to achieve the mission. Uh, we've trained for quite a long time before deploying and have continued to develop those skills uh, since we've been on operation.